So with the Moogle Tombstone event, including Triple Triad, I figured that I would build the deck that works best for me on my main, on my road to cap count. I need to build this deck. It has Lena, Hilda, the Griffin, Alfie and Alice, and then the Warrior of Light. So I need to go find these on my alt and build them. It's gonna be kind of rough at the beginning because I haven't farmed any cards. I'm just using what I've found through leveling. Okay, so the first card I wanna try and get is the Warrior of Light. And it's a drop from the gold triad cards. I haven't done very much work in the Gold Saucer. I've only got 154,000 MGP. So I'm going to buy, I'm gonna buy him in t groups of 10 at a time and hope I get him. He will make my deck much better and easier to farm the other cards. So after 103 attempts, I was unable to get my uh, Warrior of Light card. That's all right, I'll just try tomorrow when the logs reset. Okay. But I'm gonna keep going and getting, trying to get the other cards. The next card I'm gonna try and get is Alfie and Alice. Uh, you can also farm this card through Platinum Packs if you have the MGP to farm, to buy them. I don't have it because I spent all my MGP and did not get the Warrior of Light. So I'm going to try and get Alfie and Alice off of Jolette. So I have not built a deck yet, so I'm just recommending. Hoping that his deck isn't too strong. So he is Chaos and 3 open. Okay. And I was lucky enough to get Alfie and say on my second try. So I'm done here. I don't care about that other card right now. So I'm going to start already building my deck. So what I want to do is go in here. Okay. Sorry. So yeah, I'll put them there because of the warrior light supposed to go right here. And let's just save it like that. So we got one of our cards. Okay. So the next card that I'm farming is Hilda. And it comes off the Idol Imperial here in Aziz Law at these coordinates. So they have just three open and swap chaos. Oh, wow. Three open swap chaos. And they have four cards. I'm, I'm just hoping for Hilda from this. So challenge recommended. And hopefully I get lucky. Right, be right back. Okay, so after more times than I like to admit, I got my Hilda card. Deck at it. Let's put Hilda right here. Save. Okay, now we're gonna go get the next card. Okay, so the next card is the Griffin. And he drops off the last boss in Baelsar's wall. And the best way to get there if you have a high enough level is you want to click check mark the unrestricted party. Confirm join and it'll let you go in solo at whatever level you're at and you just farm it out until the card drops unfortunately it's the only way to get the card but it's a great bottom left corner card so I'm going to try and do this a few times hopefully I get lucky and I'll get back to you so I got really lucky it only took me two runs to get the card so now I'll show you where the last card of the deck is. So for the last card I need for the deck is Lena. And you can get it off of Laneland here in Fort Job in Lakeland in Norvent. Unfortunately, it does require you to be in Shadowbringers to be able to make the deck. All right. And she is Dissension and Chaos. All right, so yeah, so it's just chaos for me. And I've already made a deck. It's not what I want it to be, but it's starting. All right, I just got the last card for the deck. And put Lena in. Okay, so 
Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the Warrior of Light card from the packs, but this is actually an alternative that I can use because I got her, I got Merle Web from the pack, and he she just reinforces my top left corner, and so I have strong corners. Each one of these is a strong corner, and it it's beneficial because you have three stars that are. You have, you have to have three three stars, and each of them are eights. And then your four star is a nine in a corner. And then my five star is an A and a nine in a corner, whereas the Warrior Light is two A's in a corner. So with this deck, you can pretty much beat any deck that isn't just the flip where uh, ones are the highest number and A is the weakest number. If you make this deck, you can easily get through most, well, not easily, because there's some RNG with like uh, plus and switch. If you, this is a good starting deck to make, and I've been able to farm every single card that besides the um, flipping of the one is an A, blah, blah, vice versa. Other than those specific uh, cards, that I've been able to farm every single card in the game on my main besides Eureka and Baja because I'm finished those. But yeah, this is a great deck to have. And now I can do the dailies from the Mo Moogle Tombstone event with ease.